president is renewing his call for a ban on human cloning. He made his latest pitch to Congress in his weekly radio address Saturday. This week, like many Americans, I learned the profoundly troubling news that a member of the scientific community is actually laying plans to clone a human being. Personally, I believe that human cloning raises deep concerns given our cherished concepts of faith and humanity. Beyond that, however, we know there is virtually unanimous consensus in the scientific and medical communities that attempting to use these cloning techniques to actually clone a human being is untested and unsafe and morally unacceptable. A Chicago area physicist says he plans to attempt human cloning to help infertile couples. The physicist is Richard Seed. He has been described by as brilliant and crazy. In fact, as CNN's Jeff Flock reports, he's described himself that way. Who is Richard C? I was an excessive, lo excessively loquacious, over-intelligent, over-educated human. What are his dreams? Ever since I was nine years old, I wanted to win a Nobel Prize in physics. What kind of child was he? I was the most unpopular child in Oak Park River Forest Township High School. Unpopular then as now, but again in the spotlight. Here he is in his suburban Chicago high school newspaper. This is the chemistry club where he got his start, the scholarship cup. He was awarded for his intelligence. I'm the same person I was when I was seven years old. I haven't changed at all. I was, uh, Who is that? I was, uh, when I was seven years old, I was brilliant and crazy. I don't mind being called crazy. One of four children. His father was a surgeon. Two of his brothers are doctors, too. Psychologists say that like 1% of the population are independent thinkers. He definitely falls into the independent thinker. Randolph Seed supports his older brother's dream to be the first to clone a human. Though he adds... I was asked, you know, for a character reference, and I said, well, he's a character. You could dismiss Richard Seed, not even a medical doctor himself, as a character, crazy by his own admission. But that would be to overlook what Richard Seed has accomplished in his 69 years. Bachelors, masters, and doctoral degrees from Harvard, PhD in nuclear physics, part of a team that accomplished the first human embryo transfer. But the company he formed with his brother to try and market the transfer technique failed when alternative technology overtook it. It's very difficult to make money. Very, very difficult to make money. But losing it is it is extremely easy and it can be done very rapidly. Indeed, the man who says he needs two million dollars to finance his dream has not had much luck with money. The twice-divorced father of seven now lives in this modest home in Riverside, Illinois, after the bank foreclosed on this grand one in nearby Oak Park. He's been renting lab space here at the University of Illinois for his own projects. At present, he is unaffiliated with any university, company, or institution. Right here. But for now, this brilliant crazy man is in demand because of a dream that may seem crazy and because he may just have the brilliance to pull it off. I'm Jeff Flock, CNN in Chicago. Next on Worldview, a global report. What is a strong economy doing to our forests and water?